I don't know what the hell's going on, but <laughs> Mr. Video over here said that he's got a surprise for us, and he wanted uh, us to take a look at something. And so. he was quite enthusiastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess he got a new toy, or I don't know what. That's what it looked like. New toy, the new toy face. Uh, I guess, I guess this is it. Oh, oh, that looks familiar. Yeah, I think I've, I saw that. In the, I think uh, I've seen these before. A little the, magnetic the YouTube, flappy. It wasn't a dream or anything. It was just okay. a picture. So looks like, these appear to be the new AirPods Max. Yeah, Apple's Apple's over ear. Magnetic ear pad, which is pretty cool. I like the little L and R stitched in it. That's interesting. Some sort of port for a sensor there. If you, yep, you could install those upside down, which is interesting. Yeah. There's a little hole for some sort of optical sensor, it looks like. Yeah. This what little knob thing is pretty cool. Basically the same thing as the Apple Watch. Pretty interesting build. Very high in construction for a consumer product. Yeah, let's see. It's kind of heavy, isn't it? It's got some weight to it. I guess because it's kind of... It's got aluminum shells. Yeah, I guess that'll do it. These these look like these could be solid. Stainless. These yeah, everything's adding up on the weight side of things. This is pretty stiff too. Whatever it is, this mesh seems a little thin. <laughs> Probably makes it comfortable. I don't know. It's all right. Here, take a peek. Hmm. The other thing I notice is like this. Mate this material is unusual. Yeah. It makes like. Yeah, it's almost like a coarse cloth. Uh, yeah. Coarse mesh. Like a lot of a lot of the headphones, they go for like a like a faux leather or something now. Yeah, yeah this it is seems quite like an interesting different. design choice. Yeah, because you would think they would go for like a premium feel. Yeah, you know? but those seem more for durability. Yeah, if you notice, there's you just know, like like slots everywhere and <laughs> these things. Yeah, the on top, bottom. Which being magnetic, I don't know why you need to worry about durability. Just yeah, you wouldn't off, think it'd be that big of a deal. But I guess they might be expensive to make because they are, or they they have magnetic properties. We don't know if there's magnets in the ear pad or in the friggin' shell, but it's given the yeah. weight of that. How what's the weight of the ear pad? Let's see. They're pretty light. Yeah, there's no magnets in here. <laughs> yeah, this is just this is this is if it's got anything, it's got a, a little bit of metal or something. It's not heavy enough. But yeah, it's like the driver's right on display. I don't know. I, don't really, I didn't even catch yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of. Right, let's go backwards. <laughs> see. It's got something in there. Right? It's mesh. There's some looks like a light mesh. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta keep out the hairs and particulates somehow. Yeah. Yep. There's a hair already in this one. <laughs> that, that quick? Yep. Yeah. It's got a nice, like, oily feel to it. Yeah. It's got friction, but it's smooth. Yeah, smooth. It's a good fit. Yeah. The, that, that slider mechanism has got a good fit. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah it's, it's weighty, but not, like, heavy. Yeah. They balanced it out. It is fairly balanced. And so it almost seems like this headband is intentionally weighted. It could be this mechanism, but it seems like the headband is significantly heavier than it needs to be, maybe just to get the right feel. Because if this was really light and plastic, I could imagine it would feel real lopsided with these heavy cups. I didn't even think about power. You think they're running wires through these? Um, I would imagine so. You would think that the uh, one side would be, um, it's only just, one jack. Right? Just yeah, standard. there's only one jack, so yeah. there's got to be some sort of wire. Yeah, yeah there's got to be a lead running in there. So then these are more of a hollow. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd have to charge both yeah, sides. Yeah, so that's an interesting mechanism they have there. That's nice. I wonder yeah. how they managed to do that. It's a nice yeah. little springy mechanism. It's probably pretty thin leads. Doesn't need yeah. a lot of power or anything, right? Talking about milliamps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This chassis is nice for this kind of price point. It's um, a nice build. In volume, you'd be able to manufacture these pretty economically, but um, typically you wouldn't see something machined like this in a consumer product. Um, it is actually somewhat challenging to do on a small scale, but on a big scale, it's not really a big Is that deal. a machine part? Yeah, this would definitely be machine parts. You can't so stamp that somehow? No, it wouldn't be practical to do something like that. This wouldn't be that challenging to manufacture. This is very similar to how they would manufacture everything else. Oh, uh, yeah, Mac and pretty stuff much like everything's that. made yeah. like that. The button. only trick is you would need a custom form tool to this profile to go inside here and contour this, because of course you can't just get a standard vertical end mill in there. You cut this lip off. But um, yeah, in volume, it really wouldn't be that hard to do. Oh, there's actually a little nick on this thing. I do like the screws inside. They look nice. The screws are nice. Apple always uses nice fasteners. Mm -hmm. They look. They look appear stainless. to be the penelope. Yeah, because that's exciting. I guess they do look nice aesthetically, and I guess probably don't really need to open. And it's not like you can't get the driver anyways. But whatever. I guess it's an interesting choice. Apple I like the ease of the volume control that. knob. I'm assuming that adjusts volume on top. Mm -hmm. That's always a pain in the ass with these wireless headphones and stuff like Sometimes, that. Sometimes. Yeah. How the hell you either? I mean, normally you do it on your phone or something if you're on a plane, but. It seems like it's always a pain and he has to figure it out. I'm assuming this button does something simple too. Like, um, what's this button do? Uh, noise noise canceling. canceling or transparency. Oh, so that's just a simple push-push on-off mm -hmm. type thing. See, that's kind of nice too. 
again, nice. don't have to figure the damn thing out. Yeah, that is the problem. Like my the Sony's I have, they have like three or four buttons on them, and yeah. it's always like, which one's the noise canceling one? So yeah, I'm assuming these are these slots are micro, external microphones. Yeah, yeah I would imagine noise so. canceling is picking up outside noise. Yeah, it's they got, got a lot, lot of them, mics. so I don't know what they got going on over there. It's obviously some pretty advanced DSP. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably. We haven't really had a listener to these, right? I know he's. I think Douglas talked about it uh, mm -hmm. on his channel. On oh, here you go. DMS. Uh oh. Oh. Is a MacBook? We do the thing. We can play. Does it work? Apparently, uh, presumably. He have at it. it. To us. Arr. You figure out how to make it play, and I'll just listen. Oh, that's off. All right, that was the now you can hear us. I, I could hear you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of a delay, but it's not bad. Oh, yeah, you can hear it playing. Yeah. Actually, more than I would suspect. Yeah. You know, for being like goes back. Apple's taking uh, hearing safety seriously. Yeah. They don't really play all that loud, which I would think would be a common complaint for most consumers. But they limit the volume. But it makes sense. Yeah. It won't let the driver distort and all that stuff. Yeah. They it do that sense. on their laptops and stuff too. But yeah. it really doesn't play all that loud for a closed back. Yeah. So you really do need the noise canceling for it to really do the business. I'm going to throw some Nils Lofgren on because I got him in my head lately. So Nils sounds all right. It's on the soft side, which I would assume you'd do if you're making a consumer-based product. You don't mm -hmm. want to go brash or anything. It has somewhat of an average. They're still playing. Which, I mean, you know, you're not going to be – you're not going to throw high resolution at the general public. It typically doesn't work with a lot of music. So. It sounds pretty much the same in transparency mode yeah as noise canceling i didn't even try to noise canceling yeah it's a quiet enough environment here it's probably fine yeah i don't really notice the pressure so much no. when it's in noise canceling when you're playing mm. music but when it isn't it's kind of annoying for me at least yeah but i'm pretty sensitive to these things that's weird what in transparency mode when i'm talking so it still pumps me in yeah but it's like you're playing you're like it sounds like you're like you're whispering like in the distance uh because <laughs> my, my sony's have that feature too but it doesn't sound like this this sounds like like they're like adding it in like here right like in the background adjusting like, for yeah, the, yeah for the, the mode yeah i could see why I, I guess if you can do it why not it's kind of smart because like uh, on my sony's the transparency mode it's just like right there it's like people talking right but this is like in the mix somehow oh like oh they right like add it in there in other words you're 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 with the band and you're with the and there's someone the talking time. in the distance <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of neat yeah somebody paid attention to detail on that one yeah oh, there's like an optical sensor huh it's it's, it's yeah it's looks got like a, it it's got a uh, typical dark cover over it the noise canceling is effective what's this <laughs> thing cost 550 yeah yeah 550 if you want to use it wired it's an extra 30 something for a cable mm. they figure most people ain't going to need the cable anyway i get that most well, people are going to have bluetooth yeah. they didn't do the micro perforations for the status led Ooh. i figured they would yeah the cool factor yeah it's there, a little the, bit more fun it, do, it doesn't look like there's as much detail attention to detail as you see with most of their products you gotta for imagine some they reason. spent a long time designing this so it's interesting that this is what they came up with this is what apple thought would be the iconic look going forward because this is effectively their first headphone as far as i'm concerned this is the first over year what people consider to be a traditional headphone right because yeah. everything else up until this point has been working off beats mm. or past legacy that's true and so this is them coming from their own perspective trying to create a standout product um, where people would be able to recognize the look at a glance mm -hmm. so i do think it's a little interesting this is what they came up with it's unique not extreme in any way what do you think and about the case not even bad oh yeah so the case is interesting the case is nicely manufactured you talking about this case though oh that case yeah <laughs> i see yeah what do you think about the case in fact let's look at this for, let's look at this case it's not much it's obviously got a look to it it's like it's interesting how they give you this case to store it because it doesn't provide much protection it provides some protection from the ear cups but the way they're designed anodized and rounded like that it won't really be too damaging if they rub against each other yeah it's a and nice case i mean you look at the build and you feel of it nice it's got case, a nice feel to nice it nice magnetic clasp i don't understand why you wouldn't just encapsulate the whole headphone uh, but it's interesting know. the most fragile component is exposed right yeah uh, i suppose for most consumers that won't be a problem because they'll probably treat these very gently since, I don't know uh, about that. Fairly <laughs> well, it depends on the person. We've seen a mixed bag on that. <laughs> yeah, I think in this price point for a consumer product, this is very, very expensive for most people. And yeah. They'll be pretty careful. It is expensive. But I um, mean, at that end of things, it's the, the upper end. Consumer headphones this is very expensive. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. You need to put it in here for these to turn off, though. Yeah. Very strange design decision. 
So you need to have the case with you. You always need to carry it. So if you have the headphones on and you want to turn these off and you're on the go, you need to bring the case with you, which is strange. Apparently, you could alternatively wait two hours for them to go into a low power mode. But I mean, that kind of is how Apple's been doing things lately. Like, yeah. yeah, it just turns on when you open it, you know. Right. Mm. And we'll have to see how that plays out because I think oh, what's, what's the runtime on these? Around 20, 20 hours. hours. Oh. Yeah. oh, well, yeah. So two hours of staying out isn't crazy. I mean, that's fine for most plane flights yeah, and such. Right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you can see uh, the design is definitely. If they they pretty much took all the things from like Apple Watch, all the little cuts and the button and the the crown. They're all in Apple Watch, so yeah. it's pretty much yeah. uh, a continuation of their design sense. language. And you know, there's only so many shapes you can use for a headphone when you think about it, yeah. right? You got round, oval, square. I mean, there's not a lot of reinventing the wheel going on there that you can do. It's got to fit on your head. It's got to fit on a person's head. Even the side <laughs> is be kind comfortable. of like Apple Watch shaped, like. Yeah, just a big Apple Watch. Yeah, I think a big portion of the design has to do with the simple fact of manufacturability because they know this is going to be sold in huge volume, and if they wanted to have these anodized aluminum ear cups, uh, there's only so many designs you could do that are practical and economical to manufacture, um, and presumably there's electronics in the ring around there outside of the driver. Um, well, that's true. So they I show, would imagine it's an they like probably a, show they show an interior decision. shot on their website. I don't remember. Not I thought I, I saw know. something, but I don't remember what. Yeah, the I think one. yeah, I think yeah. they show it something in there, but yeah, I think the board does wrap around the driver. Yeah, which it was kind of the only way right. you could do it. Well, and they still need to work with uh, Bluetooth and everything, so yeah. right. and they got to fit a battery in there. Anyway, it's all right. I think it's an interesting headphone. It's definitely very different than what you see from most headphones, uh, especially for ones that standard consumers buy. Uh, it's a very high price point, but um, I don't think that'll be a problem for most consumers that are interested in Apple gear, I think they're, they're willing to splurge as long as they feel it's it's better and premium enough. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I don't think uh, this would be a headphone for me. I mean, it's just, I think because I'm kind of spoiled by what we already make, you know? So, I mean, maybe on a plane or something, maybe if you're gonna use it for travel, but I don't know, even then, I don't know. I almost like, I almost like having more of a, more compact than this, I think, to travel with, don't you think? This seems uh, I've been going that way, you know? yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you just kind of want to be able to hide it somewhere and not, you know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't know if it would offer any, any, you know, especially at its price point. Mm. I'm just going to use it for travel. I'm not going to use it for anything else. Well, that's the for thing, me, yeah. Yeah. you know, for I me. I mean, but a lot of people, obviously, this would be their only headphones, so they use it for everything, so. Right. Yeah. But you notice this thing, how it's just it, they hit each other yeah. when you yeah. take it out of the yeah. case, and it's very difficult to put it yeah, back in the case right. without it doing that. I'm not even going to bother because it obviously takes You would practice. think that would make people very nervous about yeah. removing these from the case. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll you see need, how they hold up. You need little, what you need is a little, um, what do you call it, a little uh, sticky protect, clear protector yeah, stickies you could put on there. that's not stylish. You know? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well, just for the corner, corner protector. Yeah. Uh, people probably make <laughs> skins and stuff like that, wraps oh, for Oh, yeah. Them. You know, yeah. that's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. And that aluminum is fairly durable, but yeah, banging them into each other like that every time you take it out, it's not ideal. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. You know. One thing's for sure, though, they definitely f feel premium, like compared to a lot of the other lower end noise canceling with the plastic and cream. That's yeah. true. Like yeah. these actually feel like something, some substance to them. You know, That's they true. don't make cheap noises. They are quiet. Yeah. They're yeah. fairly quiet moving about. Yeah. yeah, everything's very. Yeah. The headband slider has a very nice friction mechanism. Yeah, yeah and right. those are hard to get right. Yeah. So overall, I think it's a pretty good first approach into a over ear headphone from Apple. Um, pretty cool overall. It just has a few interesting tidbits that we'll have to see how the general population perceives them. Um, I mean, I'm guessing the reception will be pretty warm because it's an Apple product, but um, I'd like to see what they do in the future. I'd like to see what they change from this design, how they move mm -hmm. forward, how they take yeah, the user Yeah, I'm kind of in agreement with you. Yeah. It almost looks like this is uh, kind not, of first not gen. quite, yeah, it's first gen. They yeah. know that and they want to see how, it, how it's taken and then make adjustments from there. Because it's difficult. I mean, if you've never really designed something like that before, I mean, actually from scratch, and gotten the consumer right. feedback on it, which you know they're going to get a lot of feedback. Yeah, pretty right. Quick. You, a you lot don't of really know. Have. I mean, we dealt with that for years now already with the mm -hmm. feedback and the design and so on. You know, you, you make subtle adjustments here and there, and you could kind of tell it looks like they're that this is uh, it's going to go that way. They're going to they're going to they're going to tweak it. Yeah. You know. But it's definitely Apple doing Apple, whatever Apple wants to do, you know, their yeah, own way. Yeah. They're not following anybody else, though. Yeah. Like, 
This is how we wanted it to be. We, with we all use their products. We have everything. We have laptops and for, you know, we got, I think we got at least one of everything they make, if not two or three, hmm. you know, we got IMAX all over the place. So we're into the, we're into their products and yeah. uh, you know, they we're do a lot of cool design. Yeah. No doubt. Uh, the yeah. performance is oftentimes among the best. You just got to suffer with the price point. <laughs> so yeah. You know, if that's tolerable to you, that it's a pretty cool product. Yeah. And I mean, you are paying, you are buying into a company that takes care of their customers. The customer service is, is kind of huge. It is usually good, yes. You know, so yeah, you're, get, you're getting that. You're getting that. You're, you're, that's, that's built in, that's baked into the price, which any company that makes, you know, well, makes, not only makes that, nice stuff is going to do that. I think uh, Apple wanted to put themselves one level past all, all the the other uh, competition yeah. that makes sense just you know, the they, yeah they didn't want to just you know <laughs> price it the same as uh, yeah as uh, like your Sony's and Sennheiser because then it's almost like they're not competition right yeah they're in a, a different class yeah. automatically just because of the price point whether or not the performance is there is irrelevant in a lot of consumers minds yeah. it's kind of a different product at that price yeah mm -hmm. so not bad not bad it is an interesting evolution though because you look in the early days, you remember when Beats and stuff came out, two $300 headphones, and people were saying, wow, that's such a crazy high price. And now to get that same reaction, Apple needs to step into the 500 plus range. Yeah, twice, is, right? twice so the price. For a consumer headphone, that's very expensive. Um, we'll have to see how they sell and how well they're received. But um, so far, it looks like they're doing pretty well on well, sales. The other thing we, but we don't know is what other tricks might be up this little boy's bad boy's sleeve. In terms of the, the DSP and the, the electronics that are in there, it might have some feature sets that aren't even being utilized yet in terms of gaming and stuff like that, right? So, and I mean, they could probably adjust the sound of this on the fly if they right. wanted to. Mm -hmm. There may be EQ profiles that, you know, or apps or something that would come out for it since it is what it, it is an Apple product. We really don't know what's hiding under the hood. I mean, are they able to modify those chips at all? Do you know? I mean, on a. On I a would imagine. You think they this could thing's do actually upgradable? It seems quite incredibly likely. Probably, yeah. So there you go. So you could actually probably do anything you want with it if you wanted to. Probably, yeah. You know, which will be, that's probably the part we don't know about yet. Yeah, we'll you have know? to see what they do in the future. Maybe they so, got some ideas up their sleeve that yeah. will be really cool. Yeah, so anyway, yeah. it's a headphone. Yeah, it's a headphone. <laughs> On that note, everyone, <laughs> thanks for watching our blabber. Take care.